I'm Ezra Raya reporting on the hottest issues and the biggest stories. This is the Manila Times. Hundreds of families from the towns of Ginobatan and Santo Domingo Albay are leaving evacuation camps and returning home, despite the continued volcanic activity of Mayon Volcano. Based on FIVOLC's latest report, lava continues to ooze out of the cone-shaped Alp, and recently the lava flow has expanded to 2.5 kilometers. The agency has declared a 6-kilometer radius permanent danger zone, and thousands of residents have already been evacuated, although some have been ordered to return home. By Albay Governor Edsel Grex Lagman, Mayor Paul Chino Garcia of Ginubatan have defied these orders and refused to order his constituents to leave the evacuation sites. Let's get an update on the current situation. Joining us is Albay Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council Officer in Charge Eugene Escobar. Welcome to the Manila Times, sir. Sir Eugene, kamusta na po yung lagay dyan ng mga evacuation centers at yung lagay po ng mga residente natin dyan sa Albay? So tell us about the current state there in Albay and um, amid the Mayon Volcano Andres. Uh, sa ngayon po, uh, meron po tayo uh, 5,700 uh, composed of 19,000 good ones. At ito po ay nagdalik sa 34 uh, evacuation centers. At uh, ito po ay composed of uh, families uh, coming from 6 kilometer zone and uh, also a few from the 7 kilometer extended zone. Uh, as of now, uh, it's expected uh, the conditions for those evacuation centers are, uh, are not normal, of course. But again, uh, all these uh, efforts that are being on uh, government uh, is to ensure the safety and to sustain the zero casualty. Now, there are some issues as to uh, various uh, aspects, such as uh, yung, uh, uh, limited uh, what uh, those are also expected. But again, uh, Dr. province of Hawaii is doing their best to, to respond to the so, uh, Thank you for that, sir. So, so far, uh, talking about the evacuation camps, do you have enough aid? Do you have enough supplies of food and water? Kamusta naman po yung mga evacuation camps na? Uh, in terms of our relief uh, commodities, uh, particularly for the food items, uh, uh, again, based on our uh, plan, uh, 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 local government, the uh, national government through the DSWT, and the Office of Civil Defense. Uh, for now, we have ample supply of food items that we passed uh, initially for uh, 45 days. And, but the actual uh, uh, buffer stock uh, could be extended as long as 90 days. 90 days po ang itatagal ng current supply nyo dyan, ano? Yes, and po. I understand the Philippine Coast Guard uh, went and donated a water filtration system for Albay. So there's uh, potable water. And I understand several politicians yes. have been to the province the, and given aid as well. But like you said, 90 days na po ang itatagal nito. Ano? So sir, I because of this issue specifically, uh, is it true that some evacuees in several towns in Albay have been ordered to decamp and return home by Governor Greg Slagman? Uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, because uh, from the very beginning, the advisory to <clears throat> execute evacuation uh, is only limited to the residents uh, along the six kilometer inside the six kilometer permanent zone. However, there are several uh, families, uh, well, hundreds of families actually composed of thousands of individuals uh, that are actually outside the six kilometer permanent zone who have uh, voluntarily uh, or voluntarily uh, evacuated. And uh, because uh, they are uh, they are not supposed to evacuate to avoid uh, number one for, uh, number one to avoid uh, congestion in the evacuation center to uh, prevent uh, secondary impacts in the evacuation centers uh, such as uh, disease outbreaks uh, also the discomfort of uh, the evacuees uh, we recommended that uh, these individuals uh, should return to their home and uh, wait for further instruction and uh, they will uh, only to evacuate when alerted 
ports raised by the Pibox. There are barangays that are inside the 6-kilometer permanent zone. However, uh, what we talk about their population are residing. So uh, most of the people from Santo Domingo, not all, including Patan, uh, that have evacuated are actually reside outside the 6 kilometer permanent zone. And that is the reason behind why requested. Uh, we have coordinated with our respective local government units and uh, requested the local chief executive, if uh, possible, to uh, allow and uh, uh, also request the evacuees to return to their homes for the time until such time that it is uh, time for them. I understand in Ginubatan in the Santo Domingo Albay, both of those those towns, part of those towns, are in within the six kilometer radius of permanent danger zones, but some of it are not part of the danger zones. Tama po ano? So yun po yung mga inutusang umuwi na lang muna. Opo, yung mga taong nakatira sa labas ng six kilometers, so balit na lumikas po sila, yun po yung request natin to go back to their residences. On another question po, uh, is there an abundance or shortage of disaster relief aid? Ano pa po yung mga kailangan na mga evacuees natin dyan? Now, there, again, uh, time and again, uh, we've been saying that the sources of the government, especially the local government units on the part of the province and the cities and municipalities, and even the national is uh, finite. Sabihin, so we can only provide as much on this particular time period. Uh, but talking about Mayan Volcano, uh, if we will be relying alone on the resources of the provincial government, the city and municipal governments, uh, definitely the resources uh, is insufficient. Uh, however, uh, as we have done uh, in the past and for several Mayan era operations, uh, we were able to sustain the longest was a uh, little uh, less than six months. And we were able to sustain the operation, provide support to the MFs, uh because of the uh, uh, complement being provided to the national government uh, through the OC, uh, of course, the assistance of the DSW uh, and other agencies, plus also the uh, support coming from international organizations and non government organizations. But again, uh, so, gano po sila katagal magmananatili sa mga evacuation centers natin sa ngayon? How long uh, the evacuees will be staying in the evacuation center dependent on the evacuation centers. So, yung T-Box naman po ang may authority to recommend uh, up to what extent the evacuation will be uh, uh, base din po yung sa pinapakita ng dalawang kultan na kaka-apekto po sa mga tao sa Again, we cannot say for certain how long, but uh, definitely it will last for several weeks to several months as we have experienced before. Uh, so only time can tell. And, uh, it's uh, dependent on how it will uh, show its up. Um, uh, can you give us the numbers again? How many uh, residents and how many families are currently in evacuation centers in Albay because of the... Uh, currently, we, we have uh, 5,700 Eight families uh, composed of 19,959 people. Uh, however, uh, the municipality of San we need to subtract the families that have uh, voluntarily returned to their residences. Uh, and this number would uh, be about families that have returned voluntarily, would be 352 families of our proximity. 1,200. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council Officer in Charge, Sir Eugene Escobar. Maraming salamat po, sir. Ingat po kayo dyan.